everyone. It's me again, Joan Childs. I'm happy to be here on my, for my ninth chapter in my book, I Hate the Man I Love, A Conscious Relationship is Your Key to Success. I thought I would do something to give it, take away a little bit of the, um, the mundane look of just looking at me. So I stuck a hat on as part of my personality. And this is a really interesting chapter that I think everyone will relate to, both men and women. It's called, Where, Oh, Where Has My Sexy Self Gone? Huh? What do you think of that? The meeting of two personalities is like the contact of two chemical substances. If there is any reaction, both are transformed, Carl Jung. So what happens as we get involved in the beginning of our relationships, it's, oh, we can't wait to get between the sheets. And we love everything about each other. But as time goes on and life happens, things start to change. And it's not uncommon for our sexuality to change as well. Um, where has it gone? It really hasn't gone anywhere except that it's repressed and there might be some underlying issues that come from childhood wounds. Uh, if you have been sexually abused as a child, there's a good reason right there. Or if your relationship has just become dull and the communication has stopped and there's, you don't feel like you're really, you're really connected, you've had a loss of connection. And I said before earlier in my other videos um, that we are hardwired for connection. And if we go into a disconnect, we can go into crisis. And the first thing gets, that gets affected is our sexuality. We suddenly feel not turned on anymore or turned off or what do we have to do this or we start scheduling time to have sex. These are not uncommon responses to when something is not right in your relationship and that has to be cleaned up just like everything else. So I will take a moment and read this one paragraph. Sexual dysfunction can be due to interpersonal, intrapersonal or interpersonal reasons such as anxiety, depression, stress, poor body image, a history of low self-esteem because of earlier physical and sexual abuse and unresolved anger. Any of these issues can manifest themselves unwittingly at any time into the relationship, affecting both the man and the woman. It can happen with both men and women, by the way, and it's not just a woman thing. So I want to uh, encourage you to read this. I don't want to read it from, uh, right from the book because I want you to read it from the book. But I, what I put in here was a true story about the, that also exemplifies how sexual dysfunction gets, uh, up, uh, it gets ruined. Um, or not, sexual dysfunction happens, I should say. A lot of times it has to do with addiction. Um, uh, when you have a, an addiction to anything, whether it's alcohol or if it's uh, drugs or a um, relationship like codependency, which is an addiction to a person. And it, an addiction is anything you can't stop. And if you are using uh, drugs or alcohol, you can be sure that it's going to diminish your sexual appetite. And when you are, when you are drinking, it creates depression and then anxiety about it the next day, and then it, we, you're in a loop of depression and anxiety. And this is all affecting your sexuality. So the, the story that I, I'm not gonna read it to you out loud, because I want you to read it in the book, is called The Legend of the Lost Libido, or a Primer on Sex Addiction and Sexual Dysfunction. It's a true story, and I would invite you to read it and to, to perhaps understand what's going on in your relationship that you just don't feel sexy anymore or you wish that it wasn't going to happen tonight or can we put it off until the until the kids go to camp or until my mother comes over my mother takes them any excuse you can find but it just doesn't feel good anymore as a matter of fact not only doesn't it feel good sometimes with women it hurts and that could be a physical issue so that has to be at least addressed but most of the time, you don't need a sex therapist. You need a therapist to help you work through the unresolved conflicts in your relationship that you haven't been able to do successfully on your own. So please join me for my next, my next chapter, which is chapter 10. It's called Coping 
with post-traumatic breakup disorder. I look forward to seeing you again. Be safe, be well, and goodbye. Thank you.